Hello there, my friends. What is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. My name is Trix, and on this channel, we share one little spark of life in each and every video. We hang out together every Monday, Friday, and Saturday and unbox subscription boxes, share our love for all things Disney, review products, and share our shopping hauls. If any or all of that sounds like something you would like to see more of, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell before you leave here today. That way you won't miss another upload. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing the Bookishly Classic Crate book subscription box. This is the second time I've unboxed this subscription box here on this channel. I will be leaving in the cards up above and down below in the description box the previous box that I unboxed from this company. So the Bookishly Classic Crate subscription box is a UK based subscription box that ships internationally every other month. Bookishly does have a few other type of subscription boxes. I've seen kind of floating around on the internets, but this classic crate box is themed around a classic book. So with this crate, you get that book with a specially designed book cover and some bookish themed items that go with the book. I will be leaving the website down below in the description box. You can check it out there. I'm not exactly sure which book this is themed on this month, but if I'm not mistaken, this is themed around a Jane Austen book, which be still my heart. I am so excited about because Jane Austen is one of my all time favorite authors. Authors. So this is what the box looks like. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So here's a little taste of what the artwork is going to look like. On the very top of your box, you have a menu of the items that are found within the box, what the book themes are, their social handles, and a quote from the book. So the book is actually Pride and Prejudice that this is themed all around. The themes are love, marriage, wealth, pride, and prejudice. It is the second Jane Austen book I ever read, one of my favorites that she has written. And the quote that they have here is, it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. And we have here on the back, which I think is really nice, they're highlighting some of their subscribers. We have from their last crate, which unfortunately I was not able to get, it was Les Miserables, and they have some items here. This right here is one of my favorite quotes ever from a book, and it came in the box. They do have a shop where they sell these things though, so I think that I'm going to place an order to get this sign. The quote, by the way, if you couldn't see really small from Les Mis is, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. So let's first take a look at the actual book. This is beautiful. Oh, so artwork is done by Bookishly. Front, side, and the back. Oh, and they included an illustrated version, which is nice. I don't have this version, so I'll enjoy that. They always include some sort of drink, usually tea bags associated with the book or kind of like themes around the book. And they are from Jinnier, the world of teas. And this is a green tea. <laughs> it is the Obstinate Headstrong Brew. It's pomegranate and green tea. So I would say that that sort of describes me in a tea bag. Let's give it a little smell. Oh, this smells really good. It smells really good. The pomegranate is the scent that is coming through really strong. I'm going to have to brew a cup of this while I'm editing this video. Something that I think is a nice touch that Bookishly Classic Crate does include in all of their boxes, they have a little visual of the author, which is cool, highlighting that author. So they have this visual of Jane Austen. And uh, Jane Austen was born in 1775, died in 1817. She was English and she has six works and she is best known for, according to this, for Pride and Prejudice. So they have a quote from the authors always. And for Austen it is, I always speak what I think. And then, they have a fun fact about the author, which I did not know this. Austin was an accomplished home brewer, her specialty being spruce beer made with molasses for a slightly sweeter taste and meat. In this box, we do find a bookmark that is themed, of course, around the book with a quote from the book. Look how beautiful these flowers are. And the quote that they took from Pride and Prejudice for this bookmark is, I declare after all, there is no enjoyment like reading. How much sooner one tires of anything than a book. We also have some note cards with quotes from the Bennett girls. Oh, they're postcards. That's pretty cool. So you can definitely, um, so of course you can definitely send these out if you would like. I am definitely a snail mail type of person. I do like sending things out by mail. But these would also be really beautiful to frame and put up in your home. So first we have from Lizzie Bennett. My courage always rises with every attempt to intimidate me. Love that quote. Next we have Lydia Bennett. 
It will make the surprise the greater when I write to them and sign my name. Lydia Wickham. What a good joke it will be. I will hardly write for laughing. We have Marley Bennett. They would doubtless be congenial with the generality of female minds, but I confess they would have no charms for me. I should, in, I should infinitively prefer a book. We have Jane Bennett. Laugh as much as you choose, but you will not laugh me out of my opinion. And we have Kitty Bennett. What is the matter, Mama? What do you keep winking at for me? What am I to do? These are really beautiful. I love the artwork and the visual interpretation of the Bennett girls. We have a what could be larger bookmark for you, but I like to put these up on my bookshelf, keeping with the same floral theme. I take no leave of you, Miss Bennett. I send no compliments to your mother. You deserve no such attention. I am most seriously displeased. So whenever I either meet somebody or I'm in a room with somebody, like in a meeting or something like that, with somebody who I really don't like, that line actually always goes through my head. I send no compliments to your mother. So I'm really glad that it's here. So I'll be able to see it every day and have a little chuckle to myself. This box I forgot to mention actually delivers two books. You have the main book, the themed book, and then you have a smaller penguins book. This is a penguins modern book love the mint green. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's a nice soothing mint green. And this is from Javier Moret, possibly. Uh, this is Madame du Defont and the Idiots. The last book that I received in my last box, The Penguin's Book, was a book of poetry, and I really did enjoy that one, so I'm looking forward to reading this one as well. Ooh, there is something with a chain in a drawstring bag. Let's see what it is. I didn't actually, even though there was a menu that said, like, what was in the box, I didn't actually read what was in the box. So, wanted everything to be a surprise to me. <gasps> it's a necklace! Oh, it's a wooden necklace. How cool is this? It's a wooden necklace with the flowers that are in the book cover design. That is beautiful. That is really cool. I've never owned a wooden necklace before. Let me put it on top of the one that I have on now because I really don't want to take the one I have on now off just because it's difficult to remove. So this is cool. I could definitely see myself wearing this with either a low cut shirt or like a boat neck or just on top of like a high necked black shirt. That would be neat. We have now come to our last thing in this box, which they wrap up nice, like a little Christmas present. So this is a home decoration piece. It is from what I can gather, how they started their bookishly business before they started subscription boxes. They do still sell these on the website. So they take the actual book page and then they print on top of it a quote from the book. And we have, are the shades of Pemberley to be thus polluted? Not exactly the quote that I personally would have taken, to print on something thus themed to be Pride and Prejudice. Because to me, there are many more iconic lines from the book that could have been printed on here. But this is pretty, it will be a nice decor piece. So I feel though that whenever I read it, I didn't do it just cause. So let me read it a little more dramatically that I'm sure it would have been actually said. Are the shades of Pemberley to be thus polluted? I'm not exactly sure if this comes in every single box, like this quote comes in every single box. It'd be interesting to see if other boxes have other quotes. I'm gonna do a little digging in that and let you guys know in the comments down below. But this leads me to ask you a question. If you have read Pride and Prejudice, what is your favorite line from that book? What do you think the most iconic line is from Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice? Thank you so much for unboxing the bookishly classic crate with me here today. I would love to hear what you thought of the products in this box. Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. Please do consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell on your way out. Giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It would help me out tremendously and would mean so, so much to me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.